Hello and welcome to this week's Fletcher Friday. Now, earlier in the week, we gave you a small teaser about an application where we were going to use a different machine interface. So James, what is this all about? Sure, so this here then is our KP8, Key Panel 8. Eight buttons as we can clearly see here. We also do a 16 variant uh, from within the somatic HMI range. And yeah, this is a great way of being able to get operator control and status back to them without the need for a HMI screen. So here we have, yes, eight buttons with a great tactile response on them, but they're also illuminating. Uh, they've got five different colors, uh, red, green, blue, yellow, and white. And as you can see, each of these colors can change on the fly as well, because it's all just controlled via the PLC. Because this just is take of mounting it, cut out a rectangle, give it some power, and then it's profi net back to the controller for the control. So like we've talked to before, you can even have a standard function block that would control this type of, uh, this type of unit. In terms of giving feedback to the operators, you can see here we've got some overlays. These can be customized, so you can give back statuses of errors, machine ready, machine fault sort of things. You can just download this, uh, a template from CIOS and make your own little overlays that sit on top of them. But what's really nice about these devices is how you can wire additional I.O. into these as well. And in this case, you can see we've got an e-stop wired into it. So on this fail-safe variant, you get a channel of safety I.O. So without any additional safety I.O. cards, you can wire an e-stop into here, and then that is sent by ProfiSafe back to the controller for control there. And you can see we've got plenty more terminals here as well. So you can have up to eight other channels of I.O. as well. So if you wanted to have things like other lamps, horns, key switches, uh, selector switches, these can be wired into the back of this module as well for easy installation and reducing the need for additional I.O. cards in your uh, controller rack. So expanding and making remote and decentralized I.O. becomes even simpler actually applying something like that. Yeah, I mean the amount of OEMs we've seen who will just be running a single poppy net cable and 24 volts down to an operator station which just has one of these mounted in it and some additional buttons wired in the back that's so simple, right? Yeah. Okay, so what we've actually done, that whole ease of automation becomes even easier and it also becomes at lower cost, we're allowing you to expand and decentralize your I.O. and also we're actually giving you a decentralized profit safe architecture. What could be a, what could be easier? Right, James, anything else to say or should we wish him a good weekend? Have a lovely weekend, everyone. You take care. Thank you. Bye now. Bye.